So I'm not going to take a lot of your time. I'll be short and sweet. Why do they say short and sweet anyway? Why can't it be short and sour or something like that? Why can't it be? I guess it doesn't sound as good. I know people used to, you know, you get sweets when you're little. You grew up, people still want sweets. Everybody wants sweets, 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 sweets. In fact, he's an expression. That's sweet. 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 You know what I mean? <laughs> Young people, you know, they just make up words and all the rest of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Speaking about making up words, you see, I'm wearing my, an Africana t shirt. So you see, my name is Bond. Verbon. From what I understand, Verbon means it's Africana, it means rascal. Mm -hmm. So this is take off on that, you know, my name is Bond, James Bond. Well, now they say Verbon. Everybody thinks it says Vagabond. Don't matter to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is kind of interesting. You know what's the most fascinating thing to me? Since I've been traveling around a whole lot, is how many different languages there are. When I say different languages, I just mean major, major language, well, ways of communicating, I should say. And it's kind of interesting. You have this planet, not so big, not so small, whatever the size the planet is compared to everything else. But so many people speak different languages, but then again, everything is global anyway, so you can still talk to each other. So language is kind of interesting. That's what always gets me to thinking when I say communications, you know, when I say, you know, my famous thing about communication. Oh yeah, it's reading, writing, uh, 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 it's all, but it's also, you know, reading, writing, speaking, and listening, right? I've got four, right? But there's another thing happening. Some that 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 transcends all that. Some sort of fabric of the universe, you know, we're, we're connected somehow. And language doesn't really matter. So it has to be something. I don't want to say spirituality, but it's, it's got to be something like some sort of, you know, you can feel somebody's inner thing happening, you know, their intent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's probably about, I don't know, two or three or four more things aside from, you know, the. Uh, reading, writing, you know, talking and listening. But that's what this is all about. Because I can't say what it is, but everybody sort of, they know it's something smart or slick or something like that. Some people pay attention to it, then they don't pay attention to it. That's what language is about. You pay attention or you don't pay attention. If you don't pay attention, you might miss something, but then again, you might get away with it. If you do pay attention, you might get a whole lot more. You know, it might even save your life in some sort of dangerous situations. But then again, if you're vibing, if you walk in the earth, you know, the way you're supposed to walk the earth, then you shouldn't be in any trouble. You know, because you are who you surround yourself with, so if you're not surrounded by that kind of stuff, then you're all right. Which goes to the crux of the matter. Normal human beings, they want to just move along, or whatever have you. What changes that normal being that's moving along to want to change their society in such a way that they're preying on each other? And what I'm trying to say, how do you get a, a criminal class? When I say criminal, I don't just know mean somebody that looks like they're criminal. I'm talking about what they call the white collar criminals. Or even at the political, the person that can just push a button for no good reason and blow up the whole thing. To me, that's criminal act too. All that stuff is crime. So how does a, how does a, a species, human species, who, who basically does want to talk to each other, does want to you know, listen and, and hear, and, and, and they, they want to speak, and they want to write, and they want to they communicate, how do they get hijacked? Into you got to communicate for this, but or do what this person says. That person says kill, you got to kill. Whatever the deal is, or you, you set up some sort of religion or something like that. And then somebody comes and usurps that religion. Whatever the deal is, they keep usurping, usurping, usurping. Anyway, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm just going crazy on this one because it's been bothering me. I just, I, you know, you know what I'm going to do. I have to stop looking at the internet. I have to stop listening to radio. I don't watch much TV. I have to just do my little study of like all the other hermits in the world, all the other monks you know, in the world, and just leave the world alone. Because when I figure, if I, when I finish my little degree, things ain't gonna change that much. People are still gonna be trying to take over. They're not gonna be listening. They're not gonna be you know, hearing what's being said. They're gonna try to get the easiest way to do something, which is the hardest thing, because it's gonna tear the fabric of the universe apart. Anyway, I guess I'm being a little overdramatic with this whole thing, a little audio dramatist on you, but you know, that's what I am. That's what I do. And, and this has been a dispatch from the arch director emeritus that that would be me, T, from the Palace, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect.